Okay, and we are being recorded. And I'm just looking to see if we have anybody in the waiting room. Oh, so Tim, I see, is here. He's muted, I guess. I, I get to see my people here. Um, somehow I'm not seeing everybody. Oh, here we go. That's better. All right. Um, I think uh, I had an, uh, saw an email that said that um, Lauren wouldn't be here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and start. Um, I'm going to read the preamble from the state again. It's Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and renewed by Governor Maura Healy, this meeting of the Board of Health will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so by following the instruction on the Board Health site, Board of Health posted agenda via Zoom. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access proceedings as soon as it is technologically possible. After this meeting, all of the Board of Health minutes are posted on our website once they are approved by the board. I will now open the Body Art, public, body art Regulation public hearing. And I'm gonna do a roll call. Um, Premla? Sorry, here. Okay, Risha? Here. Tim? Here. Maureen? Here. <clears throat> and I would like if someone to give a, make a motion to open the public hearing regarding the amendment of the existing body art regulations. I make a motion to open the hearing for modification of the public health, you know, um, body art regulations for Amherst. Can we second that? I, I second it. Okay. Sorry, Risha. So, <laughs> um, so the purpose of this hearing is to offer members of the public business owners and other interested parties, a chance to provide testimony concerning the proposed changes in the town of Amherst body art regulations. Speakers will be asked to raise their hands on the Zoom platform. Those calling in will be asked if they wish to speak. Each speaker will be allowed up to three minutes. Those who wish to make a second comment will be allowed two additional minutes. The following are summaries of substantial changes that are under review. They don't include every change in the regulation, but they include the ones that are more than simply changes of wording or length of time that the uh, records should be held. The first one is update to allow an increased variety of piercing sites. Current regulations restrict piercings to those performed on the eyebrow, ear, nipple, nose, lip, and tongue. The proposed regulation would allow piercing of the genitalia and other sites, yet specifically restricting the types of piercings that are considered to be of higher risk. Section, this refers to section six. Second is an update to allow for guest artists. The proposed regulations add a temporary license which will allow qualified guest artists to practice body art in Amherst for up to 30 days under the oversight of a licensed practitioner. That is in section 16. Number three, an update to codify apprentice programs. The proposed regulations add apprentice licenses and define the prerequisites and the apprenticeship training requirements for, I got lost here, <laughs> for 
Let me start that again. The proposed regulations add apprentice licenses and define the prerequisites and apprenticeship training requirements for tattoo pr practitioners and body piercing practitioners. They also stipulate the responsibilities of the training practitioner. Those are covered in section 14 and 15. Update of the standards for autoclave use. The proposed regulations both strengthen the quality control program for autoclave use and add an option to opt out of the autoclave requirement if only single use implements are used. And that's section seven. The hearing is now open for public comment. When called on, please state your name, address, and any pertinent affiliations. So we do uh, have two attendees. Oh, and I see that Stephen Lambert has raised his hand. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and allow you to talk, Stephen, just a moment. And you'll have three minutes initially. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Stephen Lambert. My address is 7 Jones Street, South Hadley, Massachusetts. I am the owner of Wanderlust Tattoo, uh, which is the only tattoo and piercing parlor in the town of Amherst. So um, I went over the current regulations that uh, you guys are proposing. So I have a few things that I want to address. Um, is that possible to do now? Yes. Okay. Um, so on page eight, it, there is a section B that talks about uh, piercing guns. Um, yeah. Like, first of all, I just want to say that those cannot be properly sanitized. And when you talk about like a like a, a piercing apprenticeship right like mm -hmm. so the people who are using those aren't going through a piercing apprenticeship so they shouldn't be piercing um okay also on page nine we talk about what what is not allowed um so where we talk about uh piercing like the web web of the tongue or tongue splitting 3D implants or mm -hmm. cartilage modifications. Um, all of those are legal in other towns in Massachusetts. I'd like to know why you'd like to keep uh, keep us from doing those uh, because we may have guest piercers that specialize in those things that would like to do them. Um, another thing, let's see, physical plant. Um, it talks about tattoo stations need to be separated. There are many other tattoo shops in the area, even as close as Northampton, that are a completely open concept. Um, even though like ours are partitioned off, I would like to say that if there's an open concept shop, it actually basically helps to keep things more cleanly because it's all completely open. So everything is completely visible. Okay, also, um, so I've gone over that. So there's on page 14 in section D, it says no practitioner shall uh, provide service to anybody while they have a communicable disease. So one, how would we know that? And two, if that's under, uh, sharing that would basically be against HIPAA laws. So in section three, if we talk about using universal precaution, then basically like wouldn't that negate the other statement um also page 17 under employee info you talk about the requirement of a hep b vaccination sorry or, 10 seconds left <laughs> um and also like disclosing that would also be in violation of a hipaa law Let's see, uh, page 19, you talk about, like, in section G, there's something about basically if like any, anybody has like a respiratory infection or anything like that, would that include having a cold? Yeah, so like those are my, my questions. And my last one is on page 24, there's, you have to declare any type of criminal record. Um, with that, um, what, what would basically bar you from a tattoo license? And if somebody served their time, is it just to make them disclose their prior, their prior history?
I'm I'm done. Okay, so this isn't we're not answering questions during the hearing. We're just listening to what people have to say. Um, and so I appreciate all of those comments. Um, are there any, I, th I don't know where you are with time, but if there's anything else you wanna emphasize, you probably have a minute or so. <laughs> I mean, at the moment, I've gone over everything. The only other thing that I saw was like the the stuff about apprenticeships, right? And, and with the length of the apprenticeship, it says three years for the apprenticeship. If you look at other towns in the area, it's about two years. I, I also would wonder if we could bring it down to two years so we could be comparable with the other towns. Okay. And thank you for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for going over this carefully. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure because I'm the only person tattooing in this town mm -hmm. that like I try to address the stuff that we have because I realize that like we're the only shop now, but I, I would like to set a precedent so that it's easier for others to come into this town and for <laughs> businesses to flourish because I've been in this town in and out since I was in my early 20s and I've seen a lot of shops come and a lot closed down. I'm the only one that's been able to last because we haven't been able to get artists to come in and stay because regulations were so stringent in, in many ways. Um, so it was hard, hard to hire new people where other towns around us that had lower, um, I don't wanna say standards, but like less uh, standard, it was easier for them to open up, stay and flourish. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, is is there anyone else that has raised their hand, or has anyone called in? I think it was. Um, I didn't know how we would deal with someone who actually was just on the phone. If that were to be the case, but it doesn't. Well, it looks that there is one other person. Um, that's here, Jill Sherman. I don't see that they have raised their hand, so they may not be wanting to make a comment. Um, okay. and, and Stephen, if you're finished, if you would lower your hand, just so it's clear that you didn't want to make another comment, that would be helpful. Thank you. Um, and Jill, since I'm not seeing a hand, sometimes people have a tricky time with the hand, so maybe we can just check in and make sure that Jill doesn't want to say anything. Is that Does that sound okay to everybody? Sure. So Jill, I'm gonna allow you to talk if there's something that you'd like, if you wanna make comment, fine. If not, if you wanna make comment, go ahead. If not, that's fine too. And I see that you're muted. I don't wanna make a comment. I just attend all these meetings. I think all of you are doing a good job. Thank you so much. Okay. Um... So with no further speakers identified, I think we can make a motion to close the hearing. What our plan is to, to close the hearing, and we actually have two different Zoom links for this. So we have to, we'll, we'll log out of this one and then we'll log into the second one for the Board of Health meeting and the deliberations regarding uh, these regulations will be part of that meeting. Um, and, and Maureen, I'm not sure if you acknowledge that they're about written testimony. Did you say that we did not receive any written testimony? I did not. Um, we, we did ask uh, people for written testimony. Uh, it was public, all of this, there's a guideline for publication of these changes and um, disseminating that information. So there, there has been no written um, testimony regarding this issue. Okay, all right, thank you for the reminder. Um, so do we have a motion to close the public hearing for the body art regulation? 
I can make a motion to adjourn the meeting, the public hearing on body art regulations in Amherst. In a second. I'll second. Okay. So this meeting, this hearing is now closed. So <laughs> goodbye. Thanks, <laughs> thanks everyone. See you on and the other I, I know the other one is scheduled for six, but I think we're just gonna follow while we're not gonna take a 15 minute break. We'll keep that, seeing that you. Works. See you in okay. a moment. See you in a minute. Right. Bye bye.